Hello and welcome. This is Arden Kirkland, and this screencast is one of a series to look at some different tools that I tried out in March of 2009 to create demo collections of the Vassar College costume collection. Uh, this is one of several that specifically looks at Omeka. We've already looked at the public view, we've looked at the um, exhibit view that's available to the public. And now I'm going to log in as an administrator so you can look at um, that view and kind of a little bit of the back end of the site. So first I'm going to log in if I can remember my password. And here we are. So here you see uh, essentially the dashboard um, of um, my Omeka site. You'll see across the top um, tabs to quickly move between items, collections, item types, tags, exhibits. Um, in this case, the exhibits and simple pages are tabs that come up when you um, take advantage of some plugins that are available. Um, and I believe there are other plugins that you also could add that would then appear as more tabs up here. Um, some very simple, we'll just, I'll quickly show you a few things just to give you a little sense of this. Um, if we want to browse items, here's the whole list, showing the most recent one first. And you'll see, for example, you know, most of my items I have checked off to be public, but I have a few. This last one here is not a public. Uh, item. And then as, as I scroll down, you'll see a couple of them are checked off in the second column, which is um, for featured items. So those are the, um, the images that are chosen from to appear at the top of my home page as featured items. And from this page, I can access each item, view it, make changes to it, et cetera, et cetera. But let's go back and let's look at how you would actually add an item. Um, so here we come, uh, there are different um, choices on the left for different steps of adding an item. The main is this first part, the Dublin Core, um, that you're entering your data into the appropriate field so that it is um, compatible with the Dublin Core standardized metadata sets. Um, so for each field I can either I, I can enter my um, my data. Um, I know when I did mine for example I had several fields that didn't map exactly into Dublin Core but they seem to be appropriate as subject fields so I could use this add input. I think for example several of them I had three different subject entries. Um, and if I change my mind about that, I can just remove it um, and enter my data for each of those. And it's nice because it gives you a short description of what that, um, what that field is supposed to be. So you see all your standard fields. Each of them you can enter. Each of them you can add multiple entries. And each has a little description to help remind you of what you're supposed to be filling in there. Okay. Actually, we'll go back to that window again because I forgot to show you some of these other items on the left. Um, item type metadata, you can choose from different types of objects. So in, in my case, I believe I added um, this object item type on the bottom. I don't believe this was available. These were all ones that kind of came um, from the, the uh, download of Omeka. And they are mostly dealing with um, documents, still images, um, things like that. But I wanted to be specific about the fact that we were dealing with a three-dimensional object. So I added an item type. <coughs> to do that, We'll click on the item type 
uh, tab up here. And you'll see here it shows you um, each of the item types and a little bit of description about it. So for example, the most common one in, in other installations of Omeka are documents. If I click on document, it shows um, you know, specific data about that. <clears throat> if I go down to my object item type that I've created, here it's showing um, examples of items in my collection that have that item type. It's also showing here some specific type metadata that I've created just for objects. So I've, in, in addition to the Dublin Core fields that, um, that Omeka has made available, I've added a field for classification to classify that um, within this item type of object, I'm specifically talking about costume, and also um, I've added a field called date certainty to show um, exactly what it says, the certainty of the date, whether it's a, a circa approximately type of date or if we know the exact um, year that it was worn, in which case the date certainty says worn in. Okay, let's go back. So we had looked at our item type metadata. Um, our collection, we can select a collection to put our item in. Under files, here's where we can add um, associated images, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and tags. Again, we can add um, tags for another way of searching and sorting within it.